All right, so let's start with the slicer settings. Um, as you can see, I'm printing at 0.2 um, millimeters for layer height, shells, thickness of uh, one millimeter, and I am printing pretty slow on around 20 millimeters per second and 230 degrees with a bit print bed of 90 degrees Celsius. This is because we're printing it with ABS then I'm trying to make sure that it has a little more um, resistance to temperature because PLA glass temperature is around 50 degrees Celsius so I'm kinda scared that in one of these hot prints it'll just melt and become a blob in my extruder so um, yeah let's go to print this So the print is done. Um, it turned out pretty decent, actually, for my second ever model to print in, P in ABS. Um, I printed with the brim, as you can see, and I used ABS juice. And it, uh, there was a part that didn't have ABS juice, and there was a part that did. Man, the ABS juice makes it stick like nothing else. And the part that didn't have any still stuck anyway, so I think uh, next time I'm gonna try it without the ABS juice. Anyway, uh, the print came out pretty pretty decent. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty even um, walls. Uh, everything's pretty nice except for the fact that there's a couple of blobs over here, if you can see it, and then the overhangs failed a little bit in there. But it's basically the only place that it did. So I'm gonna trim this down. There's a lot of little um, imperfections here in the process of cleaning it up. Supposedly with a heat gun, you're supposed to be able to make it look a lot nicer. So um, let's try it out. I don't want to hold it right up against, hold it with my fingers. Well, a lot of the white went away. Interesting. I think we're good. All right, so let, let's put this on. So what we're gonna need is, besides the fan shroud, we're gonna need two M3 nuts. Um, one's already in here. Um, then an M4 um, nut and a screw. At least like two centimeters, I would say. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the M3 the M3 screws that are um, already being used for the previous fan. I think they should be long enough. Oop, my bad. Now, um, what I did last time was to put on the to put to put the the nut in place. What I did was put in a longer M3 screw that I had available and then just twist it in place and then pull. There you go. Now it's in, now it's in place. Just push it in there and make sure that it fits pretty well. See, like a glove. I'm gonna take my trusty super glue, put a little dab in there. Mm, there you go, put it. And I'll bring it back down all the way. I like the gel because then it doesn't run all over the place. All right, now to put on the fan, 
I'm gonna put the nut in the hole on top. Hold it with my finger, and then the fan goes on like this. See, and then we put in we put in the screw through here. All right. pretty pretty sturdy now let's present it all right let's put these on I guess there's, I guess these aren't long enough okay so my screws were a little too long so I used my hacksaw to um, cut them down to around uh, one centimeter um, we'll see how well this works out for us all right let's loosen this up a little bit so we can make sure the placement is correct i don't want this touching any black with black don't forget I will never forget. All right, let's, let's try it out. All right, fan speed. All right, right now it's at zero. Let's do 25%. Fan is blowing. You can feel it. See, there's not, and that's a hundred. I guess when there's a hundred, I can feel the air in all sides, but yeah, awesome. Let's try some prints. All right, so this is the result of the new print. As you can see, this is the old um, 3D Benchy that I printed um, after I put, put the thumb wheels and before I did the new fan shroud. As you can see, we have some issues over here with the overhangs and um, the um, roof of the boat is a little has a little um, pillowing here um, there's a little bit there was a little bit of stringing but I kind of broke it as I manipulated it the overhangs here on the top of the doors and windows are a little um, messy um, yeah I hope you can see all the all the details the uh, this bridging over here is not very nice all right, so um, we got all that. You know, we have we still have some pump like bumps and zits and stuff, but yeah. So it's the original 3D Benchy, and then this is the new one. Like, look at how smooth the um, front of the boat is. Uh, the overhangs came out completely perfect. Um, well, yeah, basically. Um, look at the the circles here they are spot on um, the overhangs here are a lot a lot cleaner um, you can see it here too um, the bridging here completely straight right um, the poofing um, it's reduced to this this pattern that you see here it looks like it's just um, just a change in direction or something like that but it's a uh, it's pretty flat um, as you can see here there is a little bit more stringing down here than there was in the last one um, so I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit for that but um, in general I mean you can you can see the quality there I still have a little bit of acne going on here but it's not nearly as bad I would say um, as you can see, the um, the chimney is very even, very straight, um, and this, the little holes here are fine. You can't, you still can't read 
whatever is supposed to be here. Um, but you know, I definitely do recommend this fan shroud. Anyway, thanks for watching.